I think that long YouTube introductions are literally the biggest waste of time on this entire platform. So because of that, I'm going to do exactly two things in this video. Number one, I'm going to shamelessly plug the set of modded and vanilla Minecraft servers that I host and update and offer for free to anyone in my community. And number two, I'm going to show you every step from the very beginning to the very end of how to set up your own Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved server on Linux. Since this video has no sponsor, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you a little bit about a project that I've been working on. Every single video on my YouTube channel that has done even remotely well has either been centered around my home lab or around Minecraft. And because of that, I started thinking, what could I do to combine these two subjects and provide something to you, the viewer, that would actually be valuable? The more I thought about it, the more I realized that it could potentially be relatively difficult for somebody to run both a dedicated server and the client side of a mod pack at the exact same time. And so I realized I already have the hardware thanks to my home lab to be able to run a whole bunch of these servers at the same time. So why not set them up and just let you guys use them? So that's exactly what I did. I currently have one vanilla server and five different mod packs set up that are completely free to use. I have plans to set up over 20 more that will be coming out soon and again will be entirely free to use. The goal of this project is simply to allow friends to be able to play with each other on a server without one of them having to take the incredible performance hit of actually having to run that server for themselves. Again, this is totally free, so please feel free to share the server information with whoever you think might actually use it okay back to the video okay we're going to start with a couple assumptions i'm going to start with assumption number one that you already have a linux box because this video is not how to set up linux and number two i'm going to assume that that linux is already up to date uh, for this particular purpose we're using ubuntu because i just think it's the easiest um, and has the best user interface so first step in setting up this server is to download these server files easiest way to do that is to go to feed the beast website so so open up a web browser and just google feed the beast so there's a very good chance it'll be the first listing that pops up and all you have to do is click right here where it says mod packs now once we're in here we're going to search for the mod pack that we're installing which in this case is infinity evolved you can see it shows up pretty quickly and inside of here we just have to click all the way over here on the right where it says server files and then linux on 3.1 now this will download the server installer uh, the next thing that we need to do is install Java. So for that, I would recommend opening up terminal and I'll put this command down in the description below, but the command for installing Java is sudo apt-get install openjdk 8-jdk. Um, you'll, you'll be asked to put in your sudo password and then from there it will install Java all the way through. You probably have to click yes to get through it all, but um, that's how you install Java 8, which is the one we need for Feed the Beast. Uh, infinity evolved it does take a little bit of time to install but not nearly as long as it does to actually like install the mod pack itself that takes a lot longer okay so java is now installed we can close out a terminal we won't need that for just a minute uh, i would open up some sort of it doesn't have to be some sort of file explorer but i would navigate to where you downloaded uh, the server install go ahead and copy it and we're going to put this in our home directory create a new folder uh, called ftb infin evolve just to try to shorten it a little bit and inside of here we're going to paste that server installer now the next thing we need to do is actually turn that into an executable in order to do that we open terminal from inside this folder we type in chmod uh, plus x and then the name of whatever the script is so in this case it is server install underscore 23 underscore 99 so that is now an executable so we can do a dot slash and then type it in again server install underscore 23 underscore 99 it's going to ask you where you would like it to be installed because we already have it in a specific folder by itself on this one i'm going to go ahead and just do the root directory it's going to ask me if i'm sure i want to do that i am um, and then it's going to ask me if i'm sure i want to install so you just click through all of those and it's going to run through this very long installer which basically gets um most of the mod pack downloaded and most of it set up on your computer there's a a couple other things we have to do once this finishes but this gets us pretty close all right, step number one is done. We can now close out of that. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is run this start.sh. We're just gonna open terminal again and do the dot backslash and then start.sh. It's 
It's gonna ask you to agree to the Microsoft in or the Mojang end user license agreement. You have to do this for every server you set up. Hit yes and then enter. And then it's actually going to start installing and doing the first launch on your server. Now we'll say this part right here by far takes the longest. We'll close out of that. Uh, it looks like this is updated or it's either it may be generating the world. It looks like it's still generating the world. So I'm going to let that run a little longer just to make sure it gets all the way through its first startup. Okay, so it is started up. Uh, I also would recommend doing this, making yourself a server operator on your own server so that you can make decisions and change things as you see fit. So now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and stop it. Uh, it'll shut everything down for us. All right, so the server's been shut down. We've updated everything we wanted to update on the server properties. We should be good on the server side. The next step would be to uh, port forward. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to Google your router followed by how to port forward or something along those lines and find some sort of a Google link or a YouTube video on how to do it for your specific router. And the reason I'm saying that is because every single router is totally different on the protocol and uh, the steps you take to port forward. And so the easiest way to figure out how to do it is to look it up for your specific router. Now, once you have port forwarding set up for the port that your server runs on, again, in most cases, this is 25565, you're going to want to find your public IP address so that your friends can join your server. The easiest way to do that is go to the computer that your server is running on and then type in what is my public IP address into Google. Google will pull it up. You can copy paste it, send it in Discord, send it over text, whatever you want to do. Uh, just make sure that you send it to the people that you want to be able to join your server. That's what they're going to put in into the IP section on the multiplayer menu uh, so that they can actually join your server. So we're going to start this back up and then we should be good to go. Again, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the server that I'm setting up right now that you're seeing starting, uh, I actually am running on my own cluster at home. I have a whole bunch of these servers set up. If your computer doesn't have the capabilities to run both the server and the client side of Infinity Evolved at the same time, like I know most computers have a hard time with that, uh, feel free to hop on over to my Discord. There's gonna be a link and a bot in there showing you which servers are up, uh, along with some instructions on how to get to the server, the URL that we're using, uh, and any other information that you would need to know. Also, if you have any questions or if you run into any technical issues, you can either drop those in the comments down below. So far, I've responded to every single comment on my YouTube videos trying to help people figure out their servers for themselves. And then also, if that's not quick enough, you can hop into my Discord. There's a lot of different people in there that have either set up uh, servers themselves or I can answer any questions that you have. So you made it this far in the video. You might as well like and subscribe. Clearly, you enjoyed the video at least a little bit. Uh, but that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next one.